No, 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 no. I was optimistic that we could have a chance to win, but I knew that we had to do a fair bit of work. <sighs> what they kick a goal in 20 seconds, five seconds. How quick was that goal? No, it's not. Uh, it's not the way we really wanted to um, play at the end. But a lot of positives out of that match. Pretty happy. I don't reckon I've really been that like. Um, you know, you, you, losing games is not fun at all, and it's not supposed to be a good experience. But um, that was a decent loss tonight, if you could say that. I can't believe I'm saying it, but. Um, they had a shot in the second quarter. I was really concerned at half time. And I just said to them that in my strongest possible words that I could actually speak, and my voice is gone, that I just wanted them to play the way we've been training, to do the things that we we expect to do. And because they hadn't been doing them, and they did them brilliantly in that third quarter. And it was uh, that was the that was the highlight in life for me. You, Greg, 12 months, you're a patient man. Next time we get in that same situation, you'd like to win it. Hmm. That's how much of a hurry we're in. I'm in. Hmm. Not 12 months. Didn't affect us as much as I thought. You know, you, you panic that you, you, he's out. And I actually brought Carlisle into the game because, and um, Joey down there into the game, just moving around the midfield. So. Uh, we're going to miss him. He's probably in doubt next week, so I'm not sure what we're going to do next week in the ruck. Ankle. What is it? Ankle, sore ankle. Ankle, sore. Do you think, I've been involved in games like this for a long time where you, if you get a few key defenders out, you naturally think that you've got an advantage. It's never worked out that way. Long, my memory serves me well, but we've never got an advantage from that. Because the team just kicked the ball on their heads and the big forwards didn't lead. They just thought the height was going to do it, and it doesn't. So we, uh, that's the thing about taking one of them out when Paddy went down, that it actually got the thing moving, which is better. I remember the, the Geelong Grand Final in Collingwood in 2011, you know, it was when they started to lead and kick the ball to players on the lead that they uh, they started to kick goals. It's the way I want to play. Great, so that was the instruction at half time. It wasn't just the right of No, it wasn't to, to get Paddy to turn his ankle and go out of the game. No, it wasn't. No, it just seemed to happen uh, when, the, when that happened. No, nah, that just created it. We, uh, we were pretty disappointed with our forwards and said to them, you know, like, <coughs> everybody knows how to play and we can demonstrate at any, like, with lots of periods over this summer, over, you know, their period, their careers, but for some reason when they get under pressure, when they play a team and there's a crowd here and it's a, it's a, it's a good team that is really predictable in their behaviour, then something breaks down in their minds, especially when they're young. So you have to build up this resilience to it, this confidence, this, this knowledge of saying, well, I've actually done this before and this is what I'm going to do and I can pull this off because this is what my teammates want me to do. When forwards don't lead, when forwards don't chase, when forwards aren't in the defensive structures, you're in trouble. And that's, they all went out together tonight in that second quarter. But they all came back into play in the third, which is a good sign. Teaching you a bit about football, eh? Absolutely, yeah, I'm a genius. No, no. It was a few things said, but they did it. They, ultimately, those guys were the ones that that did it, and they realised it. And you do realise it. At the end of the game, you don't need to tell people how bad they've gone. Um, everybody knows that. It just reinforces poor behaviour, but we're going to focus on the good stuff. That's exactly how you want to play. Doesn't matter who you play, when you play, what the score, what time of the game, you turn up and do that. And it's a good lesson. Last week, you had no idea how the Helmerson would play in the first round. The Tony Thorne went something early. You've never had a really good win. The win a decent loss. An honourable loss. <laughs> do, do, do you think you got a mark on the nail about, about... Oh, well, that's... 
ultimately that's your job. To, that's our job as a footy department to put as much pressure and to do it as quick as we can to teach them how to play. So, and it's good that they've done it in bits and pieces, but you know what? I want to do the lot every week, every quarter. Um, just play good footy. Because they love it. When you play the footy like they did at three quarter time, you could actually feel when I walked in, that our players said, yes, this is fantastic. I actually just nailed the third quarter of footy against Hawthorne when we were five goals down. It's a good effort. And that was good footy to watch. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. And that's what, that's what we want to do. Whatever turns up on the day, we want to handle it and get it back to the way we want to play. Your kids, Mark, are impressive. Some of you are impressive tonight. What does a game like that do to the fast track of It's enormous. Um, I love seeing young talent come in. Uh, and spread amongst some experience, and the experienced guys actually help them through. And then you see Gleeson just belting back, you know, leaving his man, going back, not knowing what's coming, and spoiling the ball in front of Roughhead. I said, yes, this is like great. Um, when you churn out footballers who play the game and have success and are better people for the experience of playing at Essen, that's what it's about. Hmm. Pardon? Yeah. How was he in the first, first half? Uh, well, not, not a we were going to sub him. Right. <laughs> and he's come out and kicked three. That would have been a bad coaching move. Yeah, then Paddy got injured, so and we took Paddy instead. That was a smart move to take Paddy. <laughs> hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Final questions?